But now is the time to tidy up the garden before shutting it down for the winter. Here's Renee Bonnell with tips on how to properly put your garden to bed. The sedum looks great and the mums are great. While some late bloomers are still hanging on, the rest of the garden is winding down. Well, it's the time of year when we think about putting our garden to bed for the winter. And it's important that we make sure we put it to bed in a healthy state. Good. Master gardener Jamie Sled starts by pulling weeds. You can see the kind of the white dusting that's on the leaves. She also removes diseased plants. Powdery mildew forces her to cut this plant off at its base and take it out of the garden completely. I don't want this mildew in the compost pile because it can survive the winter. Not everything needs to leave your garden. Consider leaving a plant like this coneflower to give your garden winter interest and so the birds can eat the seeds. Once you've cleaned up, then it's time to cover up. After I have everything cleaned out, then it's, it's a good idea to put compost down this year, this fall, to get things off to a good start. And it's also a good thought to put some mulch down to protect your perennials. SLED says you should wrap tree trunks to protect them from animals as well as harsh weather conditions. But perhaps the most important tip to keep your grounds healthy is to continue to water your lawn and gardens an inch a week until the ground is completely frozen. In the Garden, Renee Bonneau, 12 News. And keep in mind, if you grow roses or tender perennials that aren't hardy enough for Minnesota winters, you'll want to cover them too.